Second Chronicles chapter 22 Ahaziah's reign And the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Ahaziah his youngest son king in his stead for the band of men that came with the Arabs to the camp had slain all the older sons So Ahaziah the son of Jehoram king of Judah reigned Ahaziah was 42 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 1 year in Jerusalem His mother's name was Athaliah the granddaughter of Omri He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab for his mother was his counselor in doing wickedly He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord as the house of Ahab had done for after the death of his father they were his counselors to his undoing He even followed their counsel and went with Jehoram the son of Ahab king of Israel to make war against Hazel king of Syria at Ramoth Gilead and the Syrians wounded Joram and he returned to be healed in Jezreel of the wounds which he had received at Rama when he fought against Hazel king of Syria and Ahaziah the son of Jehoram king of Judah went down to see Joram the son of Ahab in Jezreel because he was sick But it was ordained by God that the downfall of Ahaziah should come about through his going to visit Joram. For when he came there, he went out with Joram to meet Jehu, the son of Nimshi, whom the Lord had anointed to destroy the house of Ahab. And when Jehu was executing judgment upon the house of Ahab, he met the princes of Judah and the sons of Ahaziah's brothers who attended Ahaziah, and he killed them. He searched for Ahaziah and he was captured while hiding in Samaria and he was brought to Jehu and put to death. They buried him for they said he is the grandson of Jehoshaphat who sought the Lord with all his heart. And the house of Ahaziah had no one able to rule the kingdom. Athaliah seizes the throne. Now when Athaliah the mother of Ahaziah saw that her son was dead She arose and destroyed all the royal family of the house of Judah. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of the king, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the king's sons who were about to be slain, and she put him and his nurse in a bedchamber. Thus Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram and wife of Jehoiada, the priest, because She was a sister of Ahaziah hid him from Athaliah so that she did not stay and he remained with them 6 years hid in the house of God while Athaliah reigned over the land Second Chronicles chapter 23 But in the 7th year Jehoda took courage and entered into a compact with the commanders of hundreds Azariah the son of Jehoram Ishmael the son of Jehohanan, Azariah the son of Obed, Maaseiah the son of Adaiah, and Elishaphat the son of Zikri. And they went about through Judah and gathered the Levites from all the cities of Judah and the heads of fathers' houses of Israel and they came to Jerusalem. And all the assembly made a covenant with the king in the house of God. And Jehoda said to them, Behold the king's son let him reign as the Lord spoke concerning the sons of David this is the thing that you shall do of you priests and levites who come of duty on the sabbath one third shall be gatekeepers and one third shall be at the king's house and one third at the gate of the foundation and all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the lord let no one enter the house of the lord except the priests and the ministering levites they may enter for they are holy but all the people shall keep the charge of the lord the levite shall surround the king each with his weapons in his hand and whoever enters the house shall be slain be with the king when he comes in and when he goes out joash crowned king the levites in all judah did according to all that jehoiada the priest commanded they each brought his men who were to go off duty on the sabbath with those who were to come on duty on the sabbath for jehoiada the priest 
did not dismiss the divisions. And Jehoda the priest delivered to the captains the spears and the large and small sheets that had been King David's, which were in the house of God. And he set all the people as a guard for the king, every man with his weapon in his hand, from the south side of the house to the north side of the house, around the altar and the house. Then he brought out the king's son and put the crown upon him and gave him the testimony and they proclaimed him king. And Jehuda and his sons anointed him and they said, Long live the king. Athalia murdered. When Athalia heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she went into the house of the Lord to the people. And when she looked, there was a king standing by his pillar at the entrance, and the captains and the trumpeters beside the king, and all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets, and the singers with their musical instruments leading in the celebration. And Athalia rent her clothes and cried, Treason, treason. Then Jehuda the priest brought out the captains who were set over the army, saying to them, Bring her out between the ranks. Anyone who follows her is to be slain with the sword. But the priest said, Do not slay her in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her, and she went into the entrance of the horse gate of the king's house, and they slew her there. And Jehoda made a covenant between himself and all the people and the king that they should be the Lord's people. Then all the people went to the house of Baal and tore it down. His altars and his images they broke in pieces and they slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. And Jehoda posted watchmen for the house of the Lord under the direction of the Levitical priests and the Levites whom David had organized to be in charge of the house of the Lord, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord as it is written in the law of Moses, with rejoicing and with singing according to the order of David. He stationed the gatekeepers at the gates of the house of the Lord so that no one should enter who was in any way unclean. And he took the captains, the nobles, the garners of the people, and all the people of the land, and they brought the king down to the house of the Lord, marching through the upper gate to the king's house. And they set the king upon the royal throne. So all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet after Athalia had been slain with the sword. 2 Chronicles chapter 24 Joash repairs the temple. Joash was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Zibia of Beersheba. And Joash did what was right in the eyes of the Lord all the days of Jehoiada the priest. Jehoiada got for him two wives, and he had sons and daughters. After this, Joash decided to restore the house of the Lord. And he gathered the priests and the Levites and said to them, Go out to the cities of Judah and gather from all Israel money to repair the house of your God from year to year and see that you hasten the matter. But the Levites did not hasten it. So the king summoned Jehoiada the chief and said to him, Why have you not required the Levites to bring in from Judah and Jerusalem the tax levied by Moses, the servant of the Lord? on the congregation of Israel for their tent of testimony. For the sons of Atalia, that wicked woman had broken into the house of God and had also used all the dedicated things of the house of the Lord for Baals. So the king commanded, and they made a chest and set it outside the gate of the house of the Lord. And proclamation was made throughout Judah and Jerusalem to bring in for the Lord the tax that Moses, the servant of God, laid upon Israel in the wilderness. And all the princes and all the people rejoiced and brought their tax and dropped it into the chest until they had finished. And whenever the chest was brought into the king's officers by the Levites, when they saw that there was much money in it, the king's secretary and the officer of the chief priest come and empty the chest and take it and return it to its place. 
Thus they did day after day and collected money in abundance. And the king and Jehoiada gave it to those who had charge of the work of the house of the Lord, and they hired masons and carpenters to restore the house of the Lord, and also workers in iron and bronze to repair the house of the Lord. So those who were engaged in the work labored, and the repairing went forward in their hands, and they restored the house of God to its proper condition and strengthened it. And when they had finished, they brought the rest of the money before the king and Jehoiada, and with it were made utensils for the house of the Lord, both for the service and for the burnt offerings, and dishes for incense, and vessels of gold and silver. And they offered burnt offerings in the house of the Lord continually all the days of Jehoiada. Apostasy of Joash But Jehoiada grew old and full of days and died. He was a hundred and thirty years old at his death. And they buried him in the city of David among the kings, because he had done good in Israel and toward God and his house. Now after the death of Jehoiada, the princes of Judah came and did obeisance to the king. Then the king hearkened to them. And they forsook the house of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and served the Asherim and the idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this their guilt. Yet he sent prophets among them to bring them back to the Lord. These testified against them, but they would not give heed. Then the Spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest, and he stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord, so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken the Lord, he has forsaken you. But they conspired against him, and by command of the king, they stoned him with stones in the court of the house of the Lord. Thus Joash the king did not remember the kindness which Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, had shown him, but killed his son. And when he was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. Death of Joash At the end of the year, the army of the Syrians came up against Joash. They came to Judah and Jerusalem, and destroyed all the princes of the people from among the people, and sent all the spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the army of the Syrians had come with few men, the Lord delivered into their hand a very great army because they had forsaken the Lord, the God of their fathers. Thus they executed judgment on Joash. When they had departed from him, leaving him severely wounded, his servants conspired against him because of the blood of the son of Jehoiada the priest and slew him on his bed. So he died and they buried him in the city of David but they did not bury him in the tombs of the kings. Those who conspired against him were Zabad, the son of Shimiat, the Ammonites, and Jehoshaphat, the son of Shimrath, the Moabites. Accounts of his sons and of the many oracles against him and of the rebuilding of the house of God are written in the commentary on the book of the kings. And Amaziah, his son, reigned in his stead.